Hello everyone, Emmylou here. Today I want to show you how to do the wave. So it's a famous painting by <laughs> Katushka Hoksai. Awesome artist. Absolutely awesome. awesome. I'm not very good at pronouncing it, but um, I painted a mural on a school wall. It's amazing. Absolutely thoroughly enjoyed doing it. This is the artist. I'm going to just hold that board there because what you could do is just take a pen and write it on the back because it's quite nice to have it. So Hokusai, it depends how you want to pronounce it, but I'm going to say Hokusai. He was Japanese and he was born 1760 and he died in 1849, so he's not alive anymore. But how cool is the wave? So we are going to do this wave. He was very focused on Mount Fuji, I believe. So I'm going to show you some of the pictures that he painted. Because you know when you really love something and you just are so focused on it that you do so much. So I love hairs and I just paint them in everything. So he loved Mount Fuji and he painted, he painted it several times in a lot of his work. I love this one. Can you see the big boats? on the waves. That's the famous one that we're going to copy today. And we're copying it because it's a good way of trying to understand how he created it. It's really nice. And obviously once you've copied his one, you can do maybe your own version of one would be kind of cool. I love the way he did the beautiful Japanese birds. I think that's so cool. This one's quite fun. So all you're going to need is a paper, do it landscape, and we're going to do landscape and you need a pencil. So let's begin. Right, we're going to plan it out. So first, let me just put that there. Okay, right. So we're going to go, you're going to start from about up here and you're going to do this. You're going to go, can you see I'm doing that so I'm going whoop, and then a little dip and then I'm going to go whoosh, then I've got to make sure I'm doing the right one because all of them are slightly different so have a little look at my picture that's what happens when you're copying things it's really easy to forget <laughs> right are you with me are you with me so we're going to go from here I'm going to hold my picture up to see what I'm doing and then I'm going to go like that. So you've got this line, then you've got that. It's kind of easy to draw, it's the more the painting bit. Then where we've done this bit, we're just going to take about an edge there, it doesn't matter where you do it, and you're going to go... So it's all curly, reminds me of a curly whirly, I don't know more. But it's like that. Then, just do this, just for now. So it's like a big wave, because it is a wave, <laughs> but you're going to go, yeah. and then there's like a little line there. Now, all we're going to do is this. This is like his little Mount Fuji bit. And then I think there's some other bits there. So that's roughly what you're going for. So just try and get the composition right, which is the layout. So just get the layout right to what you want, and then we're going to add all the detail in. So if you have a look at this one, We've done that line, that, and then this little one. Let's just think if there's, there's another one here that comes from that side, but I don't know if I want to add it. Yeah, might add it. It's there. Right. Now, what we need to do is add the waves. I'm just going to keep that there just so you can see it if you need it. Right. We've got to add the white frothy bits of the waves. So what I'm going to do is really kind of loosely, which means don't worry as much. I'm just going to do these type of, just like that. So just think lines, that's all it is, wobbly lines. Just keep it simple because that's how it always feels better if you keep it simple. And then here, it's the same. So you don't go to the top, you're going to do this. Just like that. 
don't worry if it looks odd. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a wave. So it doesn't have to be identical to the picture, as long as it looks like it's similar. Now, here, you want to do a little line. Whoops. <laughs> so do a little line there. Then you're going to go... Right, let's have a little look. We're going to... This is a mountain. Mount Fuji. Now there's a big boat, so we're just going to touch at the bottom of the mountain on that way. We're going to go up and then across oh, to about there, because this is all the boat. can make it quite long, this bit. I'm going to just keep it as that, but it would be quite long, that little bit there. Then on these bits of waves, we're going to go... Oh, so it's quite fun to just create the lines that you want. Here, we're just gonna do a boat. So touch here, and you're gonna go down. Kind of like a banana. It's like a banana boat. Then, more waves. Don't know why, but it reminds me of cream on a trifle. Probably because I'm slightly hungry. Now this boat, it's going into the waves and it's coming out. So you could touch that bit there and just carry on the boat. To be honest with you, it doesn't matter if you don't. It might be a different boat. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a different boat. <laughs> so it's a different boat, but just think there's lots of people in it. Right, now, now for the fun bit, because it's these little bits that look really cool. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna to touch there. And we're going to go, can you try and do that? It's almost like, it's almost like, I want to say it's like you don't care, but you do. It's a bit like this, like C's, you know, like a K, or tell me of a capital D. You could have a go, actually. You could um, practice on a piece of paper before you do it. It reminds me of that. Remember when you used to do that at school? If you're older, you know what I mean. But it's a bit like that. So you're going, you're kind of doing that around here. It doesn't matter how you do it, just give it a go. It's all about practice at the end of the day. And then you're going to do some here. You can be as detailed as you like. I'm doing mine kind of fast. But try and pause the video if you need to. And you want quite a lot up here. So even up there, you want to rub that line out because you don't need that anymore. But there's all these foamy bits and they're all there. Can you see what I'm doing? Just doing lines. And you could do some lines in there. Why don't we just add more lines? Right, here is lines. So they're just lines because it's the wave. So all in here, we're going to just do stripes just inside there. In here, we want to do some of those, those weird bits. Not weird, but you know what I mean. So we're just going to, it's like scribbles. I think the best thing in art, for me personally, is to care what you're doing, but don't worry. So it's almost as like you're not caring, but you, you are. So just try not to judge. Don't judge what you're doing. Just think, right, I'm going to give it a go. So it looks a bit like a tree here, you've got all these bobbly bits. Then do some lines. So some stripes there. Might do some small ones. Some stripes there. The stripes always happen when the waves are about to crash. So it's inside there. I would go as far as to say do a line around here. Just a couple. Okay. That, that is literally it, to be honest. We could put some people in the boat. So I'm just going to do this type of shape for loads of heads that look a bit like there's something there. I don't know what's happening there on the boat. But you might want to research this picture after you've painted it, perhaps, or before you've painted it. Because I just want to show you how to create it. <clears throat> okay. Now, you could put a sun or just add your own things if you like. So this is most of the picture so now we're going to make sure we paint it really fun to paint it so if you look at this one that my friend did for me amazing she's amazing 
Um, I taught her when she was 10 and now she's 21. <laughs> so cool. But um, can you see what she's done? She's done dark blue, light blue on these stripes. So that is what we're going to do. So get the paint. You can pause it now if you like, but you want paint. So you want blue and white and black, blue, white and black. I'm going to do this kind of fast just to show you. So I'm going to get you my dark blue and I'm just going to do this. You want probably quite a small brush. And I'm going to leave a gap and do stripey. So I'm doing all the blue bits. Stripiness where I've done those stripey bits. But I'm leaving a gap. I'm leaving a gap. A bit like when you're in the underground if you ever go there. Um, and they say, mind the gap, it's like that. And then you do stripes there. Now as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, I'm doing it kind of fast, but you just want to take your time, honestly. There's nothing to be gained by finishing first. It really isn't. Just take your time. Now, if I think about it, I've got blue all at the bottom of my mountain there. So I'm just taking my normal blue. Ah! You might want a smaller brush, but I, don't know, I love using this brush. So I just, I'm gonna do everything with this brush. Now, I'm gonna do all blue there. The good thing about acrylic paint, if you have it, if you're in, in school doing it, Acrylic paint's quite good to use. You don't have to do it for paint. You could do it with anything. You do chalk if you've got acrylic paint. Once it's dry, you can go over everything with the pen. Now I'm going to do blue inside there. This is overwhelming you or you're finding it a bit difficult. Don't worry. Just pause the video and go back. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you get some of the lines wrong. Doesn't matter at all. Think. That, my friend, is done. So now I'm gonna put black and blue together. So if you haven't finished doing this, pause the video. But I'm making, basically, <clears throat> I'm trying to make, I suppose I'm trying to make a darker version of my blue. So I'm mixing some of that now. I don't want it too dark though. So I've got to keep an eye on what I'm actually gonna do. Hang on. You could almost create your own waves, couldn't you? You do a version, like a pink version of it. Right, so this is my, my darkest colour. Can you see how dark that is? Whoa. I would say that's almost black, but it's supposed to be like super, super dark blue. I'm not sure if I like that. Yeah. I might stick with it, actually. I don't know, I quite like the idea of a lighter colour, but a bit like that, maybe. A bit better. Yeah a bit more dark so I think as long as you're stripy and you've got dark and light that's all you really need to worry about and you know what I'm not doing it that carefully because I don't need to but if I do go over any of the lines and I'm not happy I can just paint over at the end so it doesn't matter I like to say it doesn't matter because you don't want to get upset about it there's no need absolutely no need okay right might do like a bit of a dark bit there, a little dark bit there. It's quite warm in here today, so it's going to dry like super fast. Right, okay. That is all the painting of the blue. Now what I want to do is, you know the paper's already white. I'm going to do the background because it will help us see where the, um, the uh, la, 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 what it's called. <laughs> I can't think of the name. Oh, I just forgot something. There we are, a bit blue there. It will help us see where the waves are. So we're gonna, any color you want for that. I don't know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix a bit of white and a bit of blue again. It's all about the blue, isn't it? Yeah, so I've got that color that's like the sky. I quite like a yellowy color perhaps, but I don't know, I'm just gonna give it a go and see what the light blue looks like. You could even do a sunset because why you know, it doesn't have to be exactly that picture. Obviously, if you're copying the picture, it does. But 
it's quite nice to change it as you go along if that's your aim. Depends if it's for a school project or not. So you've just got to be a bit careful when you go around these bits. But we're going to paint these bits anyway, so if you go over them by accident, don't worry, it's fine. It is fine, everything is fine. Love this artist, honestly. If you have a look at some of these other bits of work, it's really beautiful. <clears throat> Done that slightly dark. <laughs> slightly dark. Right. Okay. I am pretty much happy with that because once it's dry, we could potentially go over with chalk and create the nicest sky. It's quite a long project, but just take your time. It's not like we're going anywhere if you are watching this in lockdown. As you can see, I've made some mistakes. Doesn't matter, it's okay. Now, let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's kind of semi-dry. Now, we're gonna try and create the waves. So, just get chunky white. So you want white. I've got a lot on my brush, can you see? Now, depends on, depending on how you want it to look, you want to let it dry. Let everything dry first, because the white won't look. Can you see I'm kind of mixing by accident with a blue, and I want to keep it all white. So I should have let it dry a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm covering all of the shape that I painted and because I've done it in pen I can see it underneath the white but if you haven't and you can't see underneath the white you can make it up again it doesn't matter or if you want you can paint around the lines but that just might take till Christmas next year so don't panic just do any bobbly bits that's all it is really it's getting the white and just la 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 can you see it's a bit it's changed colour now, isn't it? Oh man. It's all right though. Right. Remember, if it's if it's wet, it's going to be harder to do. So just let it dry because it would just be easier for you then. And then you can just put a little bit of white. You don't have to put as much as I've put. I just love putting loads of paint on. I find it really fun. <laughs> And I don't know about you, but when it gets messy, I kind of like it because you can make it unmessy after a while. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm blocking it in, which means covering all the big bits. Oh my word, that's got a bit squishy. Right. Bit of white there. Bit of white there. And you'll find as well when you're doing the white, You'll think, oh no, I've just missed something, because it's kind of blue in there. <sighs> okay, right, we, we're nearly there, believe it or not, because we're going to do like a really light blue. So it's kind of like this. It's a bit like the sky, but not, because if you haven't got them anymore, because you've gone over them by accident, just add them in. They're just bits that go near the white. So look at that, you know I've outlined there. Just, you could add them in anywhere. It doesn't even have to make sense. Let's have a look what I've done. Let's have a look at the picture to show you. So can you see on the waves, it's not all white. It's got bits of light blue. So we're just gonna put that on top of the white. Obviously you'd have to let it dry again. I think the word for the day is dry again, isn't it? <laughs> Clearly I'm not yet, but that's okay. Because if it doesn't dry, it will look like mine, so it's not the, it's not the end of the world. Pause the video if I'm going super fast. I just want to show you what I think you could get if you take your time. You know, if I took my time with this, it would um, it would look very detailed, very lovely. But at the moment, it just looks kind of nice. Now, I'm going to go and get some colour that looks a bit like, um, what's the colour? It's like a sandy colour. So I'm going to get yellow. I'm going to get yellow with a tiny bit of red. 
because we kind of want to make an orange but not orange 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 <laughs> so it's for the boat so it depends what color you want the boat i mean it's kind of a brown so i'm gonna get this kind of color i've, mi I've mixed orange red orange red and a bit of blue because it gets to that kind of browny color it's probably a more yellowy color on the picture but we're blocking it in remember so it doesn't really matter too much i'm blocking the whole thing in just because it's easier because then you can see that it's a boat now blocking in means that you've covered all the area of the page i've left no page without any paint on which is what i wanted so now I'm going to let it dry, then I'm going to show you what you need to do because you can do it with a felt tip, you can do it with you can do it with paint, but it might be a bit tricky, or you do it with oil pastel or chalk pastel. So you need black basically. So let this dry, and we're going to come back to it with either chalk, watercolour pencil, oil pastel, or paint or a black fine liner, like a big one, like a chunky one, a bit like um, a bit like a Sharpie, if you're allowed to use a Sharpie. Um, so yeah, let it dry and I shall see you in a minute. Hello everyone. When Hoxai painted The Great Wave, because that's what it's called, The Great Wave, um, he used this special colour because it was imported in that time and it's a colour pression. I can never say it like everything else in life, I can never say it properly. But it's, I wanted to show you the colour because he used that in his painting. So if you can ever get hold of this colour, it's amazing. So I'm just going to show you the blue that it is because I use it in a lot of my paintings that I get paid for. Um, I'm just going to do it with my finger just to show you. But it's this blue, but mixed with water, it's the most beautiful burnt blue. Can you see? So maybe, you know, if you get home, wherever you are, you could maybe buy this colour, especially if you're an adult, you could buy this colour and you could actually create that painting based on the Prussian blue colour. It's a beautiful colour. Um, and obviously you can mix it with white and everything. Um, and he did 36 views of Mount Fuji. I keep saying Fiji, but it's Fuji. <laughs> so um, have a look at that because it would be really nice for you to just do a bit of research and just maybe have a go at doing some of his other pieces of work that isn't the great wave. So yeah, we are going to let that dry because I wanted to show you how to do the top, um, you know, the, the pen and everything. So I will see you in a second. Welcome back. So I have my trusty black oil pastel, which wouldn't be the ideal thing to use. A black sharp is fine. It's still not completely dry, but I don't know. There's something about a black um, oil pastel that I kind of wanted to dry. So I'm just going to give it a go. So what I'm going to do, I'm looking at my picture now. I don't know if you can, I'll show you actually, this one. Can you see the black lines? That's what we've kind of got to create. No pressure. So it's really easy though, if you think about it. You're just going to do this. Let's just outline this first. So get your black, whatever you're using. So mine's oil pastel but I would suggest a Sharpie probably. It doesn't have to be, but because my thing's still a little bit wet, I kind of don't want to ruin my work by doing, well, I don't want to ruin my Sharpie either, I need to be honest. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Now you'll find if you're using black oil pastel, you'll find it's quite bumpy. So you just gotta go over it with your finger at this point your work will be dry so it's easy. Mine's a little bit wet but I quite like that effect actually it's kind of cool. Okay now now for the waves. So you've got to outline everything really. Not all in there but you could if you want to actually. Uh, you don't really have to though but you could. And then here if it's not that neat <clears throat> you could perhaps outline them but you don't really need to. And what I want to do is we've got to draw, you know how I said before, oh, my pastel's not, you know when it's got the wrapper on. <laughs> ah, right, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to invent, <laughs> just swirls, doesn't even matter if it's not what you drew. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be what you drew, just make it up. 
If you can see it, what you drew, then go over that. But I can't see most of mine, so I've just, I've just gone and done my own thing, <laughs> which is fine. Normally, <clears throat> if I make a mistake, it turns out better than what it was originally. Don't get too worried about what it looks like. So we're going to outline it fluffy around there, and then also here. Doesn't matter how you do it. Can you see? I'm not even really, not really looking. <laughs> I'm not really. Where else is there a bit of wave? I'd say that's pretty much just the waves, isn't it? Where's my picture gone? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we have to make it look more like there's there's waves in there. Now I've got mine wet still, so you could probably do this super easy. But we're trying to create the waves. If I do it quite large, you'll see. It's kind of like that. That's kind of like the wavy bits that you want. That type of shape inside all the white bits. And you know we did those dark blue bits? That's going to be part of the wave, so don't worry if you draw over them. And as I said, you know I said it's fluffy. Like that's fluffy. When it's dry, you can draw over them with your finger, but I don't know. I don't really want to for some reason. <laughs> Not really that bothered. Oh, there it goes. My oil pastel, I've just broken it. You could outline the boat. Now, in the boat, you've got some people and they've covered in blue, and I'm not quite sure why, but I should find out really. I'm gonna find out. You could get your finger and do that, but you want to do that at the end probably because you don't want to start getting messy. But I think it's their face and their outfit. So they're like blue and white. That sort of went a bit wrong there, didn't it? Not to worry. <laughs> like that. Okay. Right. Just wipe it on your apron if you've got one. Okay, so I think for me personally, I've got what I want. I've got the waves that I want. If you think, mm, I don't know, because you could make a beautiful blue. If you look at the original, his blues are just phenomenal. So where I've done that, you know where I've done that one? And I've done that other blue. That's that blue there. Just got to focus. So you could change that blue because it's not the best blue in the world, is it? So you could change that one, but I don't know if you want to. I would be inclined not to almost. Don't know why, I just quite like it as it is. I'm just gonna outline some of it. You don't really need to outline these. Right, anyway, I'm never gonna finish if I just completely carry on. Now, you wanna do the white splodges, like the spray. Can you see the spray there? Now, to get that spray, you can either be super careful and just get a tiny brush and just blob. You've gotta make sure they're quite rounded though because you don't want to just put it anywhere because it just looks a bit messy when you just la 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 la. Do you know what I mean? Try and make sure you know where you want to put it. And really blob it on. So quite big. When you put the detail in, see that's, that's where you've got to take your time really because this is what makes it look so good. So it's okay to rush it and well, it's not okay to rush it but it's okay to be a bit la 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 but then when it comes to the detail it really is good to take your time I mean there's tons there so you could do that or you might not want to do this depending on where you are and what you're allowed to do if you're small you could just put it on like that but it doesn't really create the big ones that you want so you could do the big ones first because it's just the spray it's not snow it's the spray of the water so you could do the big ones first then just I just don't want to do it too much because it's going to cover everything that I own <laughs> so have a go at doing your own picture I think yours will look amazing and just like how he did on the side there, he signed his name. So you could do a rectangle, and mine's Emmy Lou. But I sign it differently, my name. So that could be my name on top there. Ta-da! 
you could do the background of that white as well but just feel free to take your time maybe look at the original as you're doing it and just use this as a helpful tool to sort of follow along I would add more detail but at this stage I feel like this is this is okay for what I want for now and as I say because I did it in oil pastel I'll probably when it's dry the paint I'd go over all of my lines but there we are there's Hawkeye's Great Wave, the Great Wave. Enjoy and let me know how you get on.